morning, Bruce Kittle here, Hidden Pearls Podcast with a Mindful Monday. Hope you're doing great. So, um, I am. It's been pretty good. So, a lot of travel and very blessed with all of that and uh, enjoying those pieces. So, I hope you are as well. And um, I thank you for joining for a couple of minutes to uh, breathe and contemplate just a little bit. So, anyway, thank you very much for joining. So let's uh, do a little bit of breath work and trust that you are finding yourself in a comfortable position. Um, If you're on a pad or mat or bolster or whatever, um, nice relaxed position yet alert. So kind of standing tall without being too rigid. Anyway, find a place that's comfortable, but if you want to lay down or sit in a chair, it's all good. So just uh, anything is as well of that. So uh, try to relax the body just a little bit. Now let's take a couple of uh, just cleansing breaths as we kind of survey and inventory the body as we get comfortable. If you're in a safe position and are able to do so, uh, feel free to close your eyes somewhere along the way as we get going with this. So just do a couple of hits with the chime to get us going. So we're going to breathe in, nice and tall, exhale, nice and wide. Inhale, tall, exhale, wide. So inhaling in, filling up through the chest the belly, feel the lungs expand. Just hold for a second or two and exhaling now. Let's do one more of those, nice big full. And exhaling out. Well, let's do one more. So as you're inhaling in, just surveying the body, your thoughts, emotions, kind of checking in, seeing where you're at. Exhaling out, letting go, <clears throat> releasing whatever you may be holding on to from thoughts, emotions, and in the body, just kind of check things out. So one more of those. Just holding space. <clears throat> Excuse me, noticing, not getting caught up, and letting go. So let's do four rounds of box breath. So I'm going to count these on a seven. If that's a little bit long for you, that's okay. Go ahead and go shorter. If you want to go longer, that's all up to you. So just do what's comfortable and relaxed for you. So we are inhaling in two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So allowing your breath, just come back to normal and relaxing just a little bit. And again, we'll just take three cleansing breaths. And then just give a moment or so of silence as you just breathe on your own and uh, find your breath again. So we're just going to inhale and exhaling out again, <clears throat> inhaling in those things you need and want for today. Exhaling out anything that may be holding on doesn't serve you that you do not need or want. Inhaling in. Exhaling out and releasing, and we'll do one more of those. And I just invite you to take a few, we'll take a round or so, a minute here, just on your own in silence, just breathing just sitting and just noticing what may come up. And I'll draw you back to the sound of my voice. A couple more breaths here on your own. Kind of reclaiming your presence wherever you are. Feeling your groundedness to the earth, whatever you're connected to. Feeling the strength and the power in your body. Feeling the power and energy of your breath as it enters your body and as you exhale. So releasing, cleansing, and filling up with those things you need for today. So I invite you to come back and open your eyes. And thank you for joining me for that. And um, just a uh, quick thought. Um, uh, I've been uh, kind of jumping around in my own meditations a little bit and uh, hitting the insight timer just a bit in between that and the calm. So again, there's a lot of really good apps out there for some of those purposes. And if you haven't, you can check out the number of performance. Uh, there's, Emma's got some great stuff up there as well, some breath work and yoga. But I want to invite you, um, uh, one of the uh, meditation teachers that's on there is a woman by the name of Bethany. Royal Hagen. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And the other night I listened to one that I thought was just the way she approached something was really good. So um, she was talking about being hurried and in a frantic pace at times in our lives, and we all face those things. And she was talking about, though, how do we catch up with our breath? How do we catch up with our breath? And 
What she said was that we don't catch up with our breath. We let our breath catch us, literally. And so I think sometimes I know I've done that, that you enter into trying to get a meditation in and you're doing some breath work. And it literally does feel like you're trying to catch up to your breath and reclaim it. And we talk about that all the time, that using your breath as a grounding, centering piece, uh, a way to change your physiology, to alter your mindset, to give you clarity. And all of that is true. Um, but sometimes the physical and the mental seem to be chasing that breath. And I think her point was, think of it more as your breath literally catching you. And I, I didn't she didn't say this, but the image that I came up with was almost like if we are kind of frantic in that way, and I, I don't want to call it falling in a bad way, but almost like landing, I don't know, on the top of a parachute or something, and, it, and that is your breath, and just as you release into it, letting your breath literally catch you. And if, if you can approach it in that way, and so when you start to breathe, your breath is that energetic force. The breath is the energetic power that you can set all things into, that you can release all things to, that you can surrender yourself to, both mind and body, even spirit, and just trust that your breath will, in fact, catch you. It will hold you. It will ground you. It will be there for you always. You always have your breath. Um, and I found that really comforting in that sense. And, and instead of like rushing and trying to, you know, get myself in the right spot, it's just like, just, you know, I talk about kicking it into neutral, your body and your mind if you can. And in that neutral space, letting, letting your breath do the work that your breath can do. And just trusting that your breath is strong enough, it is powerful enough that you are strong enough and that you are powerful enough that you can release all things there and it will cleanse, it will hold space, and it will allow you to release and let go. So this week, just a thought. Uh, thank you, Bethany, for that, uh, about not trying to catch up to anything and chase, 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 but instead putting things into neutral at times and just letting yourself be. Be content, be okay, accepting, aware, knowing who you are, where you're at, and what's going on. And then just being present with that breath and holding space for it in the sacred way that it can hold space for you. So this week, letting our breath catch us. Hope you have a great week and all encouragement. Um, and again, I'm just going to a quick shout out. And um, um, so we do some work with the some children hospital around kids cancer. We were at the Niners game uh, out in um, Carolina. So got a win out there, but um, there were kids out there, families uh, from their children's hospital. And so shout out to the Charlotte Children's Hospital uh, and just really not just kids, but everybody that's struggling everywhere. I don't know if, uh, you know, some of you know, I lost my mom and my sister to cancer over a very long, difficult battles um, and know people that are in the midst of it. And I just want to offer heartfelt support and love and kindness uh, and strength for the journey. And so uh, if we can do anything or help in any way, let us know. But uh, just encourage folks to be kind because we never know what other people are going through in the midst of their journey because you can't see it on their face. So uh, hold space for them. So loving kindness to all of you, and may we share that and seek ways which we can lift and hold people up. So take care. Thank you.